Yeah, let's do it this way. This is the MIDI view. There's the intro. And there's a part of the intro. Now we hit it. You can really see the dissonance when these notes are so close together. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 62. Keep moving forward. In today's episode, we re-entered by using a new analogy. Composing is like making clothing. So the way people make clothing at home they put fabric out on a like a dining room table then they put a paper pattern on top of it that shows the shapes to cut out so they cut out the fabric and then they piece the edges of the sections together until it's custom fitted to their body and then they sew it up so our cadences in our music program are kind of like um, the pattern cadences these things up here because that's the that's the energy story uh, the the backbone and polyphone which are down here are the fabric and then there's a bunch of metaphors they say your our works cut out for us now which means after you've cut the pieces there now you have to pin them together which is called piecing it together custom fitting and final sewing so we've been piecing it together now for a couple streams and we're starting to work on custom fitting and eventually final sewing we so what we did what we did is we went ahead and made one of our line diagrams which uh, basically on the left hand side I know it's hard to see this you have the bar number and for each bar number, it says what part it is for gives. Like here's here's bar nine, there's bar nine, and so forth and so on. So, in fact, that should really say bar nine. Bar nine is for give. We can fix that. And then we went through and we scored it. We gave it a score for um, tempo, how fast it is, dissonance. You just saw, you heard that a minute ago. Um, the cadence, energy story, and the dynamic, how loud it is. And so this is, when you do take the time and try to do that, you get this gorgeous looking chart. This is the energy of tempo plus dissonance plus cadence plus dynamic by bar number and then of course when you slow things down which we did we slowed tempo down several places today like where it shows blue then uh, those sections take longer so now um, there's a there's a bit of a spreading out at certain parts of the curve so this is the same curve by seconds across the bottom and this is the curve by bar number and we've already learned that it's useful to have both views because when you're trying to make changes which was the point of doing this we wanted to change our score so for example here where it says slower at bar 73 we decided to do that because the the original shape of the chart looked kind of flat or or, or monotonous or whatever you know word you want to put in there so sure enough we said, well, what if we do something here? What if we slow it down to 150 from 240? And what if we drop it to P from MP? And then we get a very nice effect there. So we did that all the way through. So that was, and, and we've done this before with other compositions. We just finally got around to doing it for this one. So those are our results. Um, we added a big introduction. We've added... Uh, room to use contrabass and the only part we have contrabass at the moment is at the beginning here uh, just get started get us started we made the dynamic and tempo changes and we made the chart and we started with an animation so what we're going to do is show you this animation while we listen to it uh, 
and follow along with the chart over here that corresponds to where we are in here. We we hope. It's it's always fun trying to keep up with this. So here we go. There's a drop in dynamic, I mean uh, tempo as well. So that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time are to keep working with the composition. Um, I want to make a stronger ending. We have some ideas how to do that, which which includes you know volume and uh, uh, consonants, basically backbone. And we want to add some echoes between the sections. There's there's a deliberate buffer bars between them, but now that we have that dun, 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 and that echo effect, we can carry that across orally so that it, it has continuity. And then we want to do add more of the shimmer, the contrabass part, because that sounds cool. Thank you for your time, curiosity, and attention. Acknowledgements to Black Strish, who stopped by, get better. Trader One stopped by earlier, Miss Cleo. Thank you, as always, for your inspiration. And Mr. Spatz, haven't seen you in ages. Mr. Spatz showed up today in spades. Tune in next time to see what happens next. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.